Hey, hey, and welcome along. So just like the topic of today's conversation, this was completely unexpected. And um, we're talking about when things don't go according to plan or what you had hoped or wanted or expected. And to give you a bit of background, my uh, night was quite long. I had, uh, I had plans to have a really good rest and have a great night because in the morning I had um, an interview on an amazing podcast with a bunch of beautiful women uh, from the Awakening um, Awakening Global Sisterhood, I think it is. And um, anyway, more to come on that. I'll share when that eventually comes out. But um, of course, things didn't go according to plan. I had a very sick child through the night who was um, just, you know, puking up everywhere throughout the night. And we had uh, massive piles of laundry as high as my head by the time the morning came and uh, lots of sleepless people in the house. And then uh, finally jumped on the podcast in the morning and then um, we had a whole heap of technical issues back and forth and more than I usually experience. And so, so it is, so it goes. None of the plans went according to plan and yet here we are and things carry on and now I get to hang out with you. So what do you do when things don't go to plan? Are you able to simply go with the flow? of however it happens? Do you fire up, right? Do you get all inflamed and inflared and, you know, now I've got to get it going and got to push through and got to make it happen some other way, um, you know, or even get mad at the situation? Or do you, fl do you flip out? Ah, oh my goodness, it's not, ah, it's not happening. It's not working. What are we going to do? And, and then it becomes a whole other kind of drama. Um, and it's okay. Any of those responses are completely okay. This is a self-awareness exercise. Uh, what happens for you? And of course, this relates to the gravity of the plan, how big it is. Um, and aren't we all familiar with plans being thrown into the fireplace over the past couple of years um, as so many things have changed, right? I'm sure we've all gained a, an extra level of resilience and flexibility um, and acceptance within that. So maybe you're more able to go with the flow as things shift right now. And so how does this relate, right, um, to spiritual practices and spiritual experiences? You know, this in itself, any area of our life where we bump up against something that is a bit uncomfortable, something that we don't really like, something that um, just makes us feel a bit off, these are all great areas for human and spiritual growth because, of course, these are at our edges. At our edges is where, um, you know, we get the challenge, right? And so how we respond in those moments at the edges, this is where the growth occurs. So, and, and again, there's no judgment here, right? But use this as a self-awareness exercise. So each time you get to one of those edges where you're pushed or stressed or, you know, there's just that area in your life where there's that sore spot or maybe there's a person in your life and that, that area, that, that sore tender spot just keeps getting pushed and prodded a little bit and you really don't like it, right? How are you responding in that moment? And is that response a repeated response to it and if so does that repeated response help the situation right does it help what's going on does it aid the situation or does it keep you in a stuck place right or is your response something that you know first you had the problem where things didn't go according to plan and then you have this response that maybe sets off a whole other layer of problem and triggers and dramas and who knows what else might unfold after that because there was a quite a strong reaction to the situation so um yeah how does it go when your plans don't go according to plan is it okay? Are you in acceptance about that? You know, because some people are, right? Some people are totally like, yeah, whatever, you know, and off they flow with the next thing. So is that you? Um, and if so, great. Tell us how that works for you. You know, are there keys in that response? And are there times where that doesn't work so well for you, you know, where it would be better to kind of push on 
and carry through with a different type of response to get things done. Um, again, there's no right way in all of this, but um, our spiritual experiences and our spiritual growth can certainly teach us ways of being and modes of being to respond to situations, not react, but to respond to situations in um, as ways that are as best, as compassionate, as kind, and in some ways as neutral as possible to a situation. Great. Have a fabulous day and uh, may your plan go hopefully according to its, its flow um, or the divine flow, which is a whole other story for a whole other day. <laughs>